And I want to tell you why, you know. If the devil can use him aggressively, then I want you to know God can use me aggressively. The confusion is because for years, these guys have organized a mass organized effort to slander my name behind the scenes. So every time I say something, you're just seeing my part because their part is behind the scene. But I want you to know I'm up for it. I'm up for it. I'm anointed for it. Hello, beauties. Mason singer Jaguar Wright have joined forces to expose what they claim is a secret gay affair between music mogul Diddy and renowned pastor T.D. Jakes. The duo alleges to have gathered damning evidence that could potentially rock the foundations of both the music and religious worlds. Mace and Jaguar Wright, known for their uncompromising stances, are reportedly armed with shocking evidence that purportedly unveils a clandestine relationship between Diddy and T.D. Jakes. The collaboration of these two outspoken artists has created a formidable force, threatening to unravel secrets that have long been kept in the shadows. Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties money and sex. As news of the expose spreads, T.D. Jakes is said to be in a state of panic, grappling with the impending revelation of a potentially damaging secret. The combination of Mace and Jaguar Wright, known for their no-holds-barred approach, has created a formidable alliance that could shake the very foundations of the entertainment and religious spheres. The public is left in suspense, wondering about the veracity of the allegations and the potential fallout for those involved. There's a lot of talk online about the American pastor, People are saying T.D. Jakes connected to claims of wrongdoing involving rapper Sean Diddy Combs. The rumors also mention charges related to trafficking. Additionally, there are leaked messages that reveal the pastor's hidden identity as a gay power bottom. T.D. Jakes is a respected figure known for founding the Potter's House, a diverse church in Dallas and a humanitarian organization. He is recognized as one of the leading Christian preachers in the United States. Jakes, who frequently interacts with celebrities like Diddy, has earned praise, including being called America's Best Preacher by Time Magazine and labeled one of the nation's most influential and mesmerizing preachers by the New York Times. Due to his high-profile reputation, people are raising eyebrows of speculation about his alleged connection to Diddy. Now Diddy has recently been surrounded by many controversies and he is already in hot waters. The question is, will he once again be able to prove himself right by throwing money and proving his power in the industry? Diddy is a major figure in the music industry, not just because of his wealth, but also due to his influence. With a net worth exceeding $90 million, his financial clout greatly impacts his standing in the industry. For instance, he quickly settled Cassie's lawsuit within 24 hours of filing. His connections with prominent names like Jay-Z, Dr. Dre, and Eminem aren't surprising given his stature. However, recent rumors suggest that Diddy's influence goes beyond music, with some artists reportedly avoiding him due to alleged involvement in the industry's darker and more controversial aspects. Jaguar Wright is at the forefront of exposing these claims. Diddy's history in the music industry is marked by numerous controversies, including including involvement in violent incidents dating back to the 90s, from the tragic CCNY event to his alleged role in the Jake Robles shooting. Diddy has been linked to high-profile incidents. Suspicions surrounding his involvement in Tupac's shooting persist, and even in the 2010, he reportedly had an altercation with Jake Hull. Diddy has openly expressed his admiration for the pastor, crediting him for guiding him during a challenging phase in his life. In 2021, Diddy and T.D. Jakes revealed a collaboration, announcing they are working together to bring the pastor's exclusive sermon series to Revolt TV, a prominent black owned multimedia platform. A user published a surfaced video making some serious allegations against R&B singer Cassie Ventura and music mogul Diddy. According to the video, Cassie has supposedly handed evidence to the FBI a month after filing a lawsuit against Diddy, accusing him of heinous acts of violence during their decade-long relationship. Although the civil lawsuit has been settled, the video claims Cassie submitted additional evidence to 
the FBI. The alleged evidence includes tapes of Diddy's parties and a burner phone belonging to Kim Porter, Diddy's ex-girlfriend, who passed away in 2018. Kim Porter and Diddy had four children together. The video further asserts that an email has incriminating information about Diddy's close friend, Pastor T.D. Jakes, who officiated Kim Porter's burial. The video goes on to claim that the submitted evidence includes tapes of Diddy's alleged parties, suggesting the involvement of multiple prominent individuals, including T.D. Jakes, who are alleged to have engaged in inappropriate activities with multiple men at these gatherings. The video presents serious accusations against Diddy and his associates, raising questions about their involvement in controversial events. Turned over videotapes, a USB drive, and Kim Porter's burner phone. Now, there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include T.D. Jakes with Diddy. To back up these accusations and prove them right, we have Jaguar Wright. She has been actively exposing the dark activities and rumors surrounding Diddy. She fearlessly speaks out against him, shedding light on his not-so-secret relationship with Pastor T.D. Jakes. The friendship between Diddy and T.D. Jakes, dating back to Diddy's time with Kim Porter, has raised eyebrows, given T.D.'s pastoral role and Diddy's party reputation. Although seemingly sweet, Jakes's support during Kim's past passing has prompted questions about its authenticity, especially after he posted on Instagram offering condolences and prayers. Furthermore, T.D. Jakes officiated Kim Porter's funeral and attended Diddy's notorious parties known for their wild nature, a curious presence for a pastor. Jaguar Wright raises questions about a pastor being involved in such events. Adding to the intrigue, there are rumors of Diddy and TD being part of a secret Hollywood society. Viral pictures depict Diddy and TD Jakes at a party where Diddy is making an Illuminati sign with his hands, suggesting it was some sort of initiation event. According to Mace, an artist turned pastor who previously worked with Diddy, there are insinuations that these initiations allegedly involved unconventional rituals, including nudity and bizarre activities. Jaguar Wright recently discussed T.D. Jakes attending Diddy's party in a podcast, questioning why a pastor would align with such events. It's a valid concern what's a pastor doing at a rapper's party, especially given Diddy's reputation for hosting inappropriate gatherings. Jaguar expressed doubt about the motives behind these high-profile appearances, suggesting there might be underlying motivations like money or intimate relationships. She straightforwardly stated that, in her view, only two things happen at P. Diddy's parties, money and intimate encounters. Money and sex. However, the controversy does not end here. Diddy has been involved in a complex relationship with the pastor for an extended period, and this so-called Pastor T.D. Jakes hasn't exactly enjoyed a favorable reputation. His character has been viewed with skepticism, leading to considerable skepticism and suspicion from the public. In recent years, it appears that P. Diddy has become a favorite of Pastor T.D. Jakes. Is it just their personalities clicking? Or is there something more to their connection? Past rumors have circulated, suggesting that T.D. may be secretly gay. Given Diddy's history of being discreet about his personal life, it might make sense if there were rumors of a relationship between them. Christopher Williams, I don't know, I guess he wanted to sign. I don't know what happened. But Puff was supposed to be giving him a demo deal and he gave him a demo deal. And I guess it was supposed to turn into an album deal, which that never happened. Um... But this young woman walked in to get approval on some paperwork, see. And uh, when she walked in, the door wasn't locked. So she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio. It seems like Jaguar Wright wasn't making baseless claims. According to her, Diddy has a history of coercing people into engaging in intimate acts. Jaguar specifically mentioned that Diddy allegedly compelled Chris Williams to perform a certain act. The incident occurred when Christopher approached Puff Daddy to sign a deal with his label Bad Boy Artists. Diddy allegedly forced Chris into an uncomfortable situation in a seemingly spiteful and superior gesture. The story takes an even darker turn 
with the involvement of another character, a lawyer working for the label. While Diddy was engaged in the act, as mentioned earlier, the unsuspecting woman walked into his office, witnessed the scene, and promptly closed the door in shock. Imagine the embarrassment and discomfort she must have felt. However, instead of showing remorse or embarrassment, Diddy reportedly went to the lawyer's office the next day and subjected her to terror. He questioned whether she would disclose what she had seen, and although she assured him she wouldn't, Diddy didn't believe her. In a disturbing turn of events, he allegedly grabbed her forcefully and behaved aggressively. It paints a distressing picture of a troubling incident within the music industry, especially what Diddy has been up to for years with people in the industry. Jaguar Wright has consistently asserted that influential figures in the industry, such as Clive Davis, utilize their positions to shield themselves and others from being held accountable for serious offenses. These revelations highlight power dynamics and misconduct within the music world. Notably, despite numerous accusations, Diddy has faced close to no consequences for his actions. In the Notorious Club New York shooting incident involving Diddy, charges against him were eventually dropped. However, allegations surfaced that Diddy had his artist shine take the blame for the incident. Diddy's former bodyguard went on record, claiming that Diddy paid witnesses to testify against Shine during the trial. These events underscore the challenges in achieving accountability and justice in the face of influential figures within the industry. Those people were testifying, they were brought to Puff first. Saying that they what they saw against Shine and what they saw Shine do. The DA didn't even know those people existed. You understand what I'm saying? Shine. This situation further complicates Diddy's already controversial history in the music industry, where his influence and actions have frequently been scrutinized. In conclusion, Diddy's journey in the music industry is marked by power, controversy, and alleged wrongdoing. He has largely remained unaffected despite numerous accusations and narrowly avoided legal trouble. Instances like the Club New York shooting and the alleged scapegoating of Shine exemplify the challenges and controversies that have surrounded him. While his influence persists, so does the ongoing scrutiny of his actions. The complex narrative surrounding Diddy continues to be a prominent topic of discussion and debate within the industry. A user stated, most people have claimed Jaguar Wright is crazy and just talking out the side of her neck. However, notice nobody that she's spoken on or exposed has ever even attempted to sue her for defamation, a cease and desist order, or anything else. Say what you want about her, but I don't think she's lied about a MF thing. Another user commented, why on earth would TD Jakes or any pastor be at one of this man's parties with the reputation the parties have always had. I think there was a major change in his sermons once he got into the movie slash entertainment world. The lawsuit against Diddy by Cassie might just be the starting point for a major shakeup in the entertainment industry. If Diddy faces criminal charges, he could potentially implicate a number of associates, including his longtime friend and spiritual advisor, T.D. Jakes. For those who aren't familiar, T.D. Jakes is a prominent figure among prosperity gospel preachers. He advocates the belief that Jesus was wealthy and that God intends for us to amass as much wealth as possible. T.D. Jakes, unlike what you might expect from someone following the path of Jesus, doesn't spend much time with the poor or the downtrodden. Instead, Bishop Jakes is more often found in the company of presidents, celebrities, and billionaires. Among these, his favorite celebrity companion is said to be Diddy. This close relationship has led to years of rumors suggesting that their bond might extend beyond mere friendship. There have been long-standing speculations about T.D. Jakes and his private life, especially following an incident in 2009. This was when his son, Jermaine Jakes, was arrested for inappropriate behavior with an undercover vice detective in a public park, not far from his father's well-known megachurch, The Potter's House, in Dallas, Texas. The friendship between Diddy and T.D. Jakes isn't something new. It has been going strong for many years. Diddy even asked Jakes to lead the funeral service for his ex, Kim Porter. When Kim passed away, Pastor Jakes posted a tribute to her on his Instagram. In his post, he spoke about the love Diddy had for Kim, writing, Though you may grieve her absence, realize that many people never had such love in all of their lives. You are blessed 
to have someone to miss. However, this seems contradictory given the allegations that Diddy treated Kim poorly, including claims of controlling behavior and physical harm. Despite being known as one of the more controversial figures in the industry, T.D. Jakes has consistently attended Diddy's notorious parties. <laughs> When Jaguar Wright was questioned about why she thinks T.D. Jakes is always present at these gatherings, she had some interesting insights to share. Why do you think T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday party? If Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Money and sex. Notably, Jaguar Wright wasn't the only one to notice Jake's unusual activities. In 2013, Tyler Perry publicly offered a prayer for T.D. Jakes in a ceremony that seemed reminiscent of the film Eyes Wide Shut. This event happened not long after Jakes had received a $1 million check from Perry. The connection between Diddy and T.D. Jakes goes beyond just social events. In July 2021, they announced a collaboration to broadcast Jakes' sermons on the specialized TV network, Revolt. They shared this news during a call where Diddy spoke about how Jakes had helped him through a challenging time in his life. It's quite concerning that someone like T.D., Jakes, who presents himself as a religious leader, is offering spiritual advice to someone accused of being morally corrupt like Diddy and also socializing with him. This situation alone raises many questions. Moreover, there have been recent reports suggesting that both Diddy and T.D. Jakes are members of a secretive group in Hollywood. It's rumored that the parties hosted by Diddy are actually initiation ceremonies meant to entrap unsuspecting individuals. In June 2022, a photo of Diddy and T.D. Jakes at Jackson's birthday party emerged. In this picture, fans noted Diddy hand gesture, suspecting it to be a sign of the Illuminati. Additionally, some observers mentioned that Jakes was wearing red shoes, which they believe carry sinister symbolism. It's not just fans who are suspicious of Diddy and T.D. Jakes, possible involvement in a group that seemingly contradicts religious values. Bass, a rapper who later became a pastor and was once signed to Diddy's Bad Boy label, has had a long history of disputes with Diddy over the rights to his music. Mace is well known for writing writing much of Diddy's rap material in the late 1990s. Despite this, Diddy has long denied owing anything to Mace, claiming their collaboration was limited to just one album. Furthermore, Diddy has attempted to tarnish Mace's reputation, labeling him as a disingenuous pastor. You know, I did one album with Mace. One album. How much money do you think I owe this guy? One album? And then he became a fake pastor and went and con people. It's quite interesting to note the irony in Diddy calling Maze a fake pastor and a con artist when Diddy's own spiritual advisor is T.D. Jakes. This situation is somewhat similar to how Diddy often promotes the idea of love, only to be labeled as one of the most nefarious figures in the entertainment industry. In response to Diddy's comments, Mace didn't hesitate to speak up, stating that both Diddy and his bishop, T.D. Jakes, are being manipulated by negative forces. And I want to tell you why, you know, if the devil can use him aggressively, then I want you to know God can use me aggressively. The confusion is because for years, these guys have organized a mass organized effort to slander my name behind the scenes. So every time I say something, you're just seeing my part because their part is behind the scene. But I want you to know I'm up for it. I'm up for it. I'm anointed for it. Now fans are speculating that if Diddy gets into trouble, T.D. Jakes might be next in line, considering their close association and potential involvement in the same secretive group. People are curious about what exactly these two have been doing when not in the public eye. One fan pointed out that T.D. Jakes has even attended some of Diddy's controversial parties, suggesting that the company one keeps can reveal a lot about their true character. Another person criticized T.D. Jakes for allowing Diddy, who has a questionable reputation, to sit in the front row during his services 
and for associating with him while Diddy portrayed himself as a family man. This whole situation raises questions about the nature of the friendship between T.D. Jakes and Diddy. What do you think about their relationship? Is it possible that Pastor Jakes has his own hidden secrets? Share your thoughts in the comments and then be sure to check out the next story.